Bogues, Joe May there. Well, over the past few years, we've featured stories on the Karuna Markets, an annual event famous for selling artwork and stunning jewellery at rock-bottom prices. But it's much more than bagging a bargain. The markets raise much-needed funds for the Karuna Hospice. Lauren Riley has met some of the very generous people who make this unique event possible. What they do for everyone is, is, is just phenomenal. I mean, it, it just gets to your heart. Karuna Hospice is a service Margaret Campbell Ryder, owner of the Red Hill Art Gallery, feels very passionate about. So for the last 12 years, to show her support, she's donated thousands of dollars worth of frames and artworks to their annual fundraiser, the Karuna Markets. Whatever I can do, I do, and whenever I'm called upon to help them, I do. <laughs> Over the six years the markets have been running, they've become famous for causing a stampede amongst art connoisseurs and bargain hunters alike. Why, well, paintings worth a few thousand dollars sell for 75 or less. And this year is no exception. Amongst the paintings donated by community members, we found this pro-heart work. If it's real, Margaret says it's valued at up to $40,000. But it won't be the only work by an established painter at the market. Over 10 pieces have been donated by local artists who display their work in Margaret's gallery, including this piece by Adam Bogus. It will be sold via a silent auction. He sells very, very well, and for him to donate a painting that's valued at 2,200 is a big deal for him because you know artists are struggling and for them to give off something like that I think that's really really compassionate. But if art's not your thing well what about some bling? Amongst the donations are these spectacular pearls. It's an ice pink um, strand about 45 centimeters uh, lovely length and I've complemented it with uh, a solid silver harmony ball which I thought was appropriate considering that Karuna's um, motto is compassion, the harmony ball represents health, happiness, love and I just think the person that gets it will be really lucky. The necklace comes with a matching bracelet and earrings. All up the set is valued at over $800 and will be the raffle prize on the day. I'm more than happy to help as much as I can. I think more people should do it. Moving on to jewellery that's up for sale and prices range from $3 to $75. And amongst the bargains, you'll find some of these pieces by local artist Elizabeth DeLuca. And she does beautiful Venetian beads with sterling silver. Elizabeth's jewellery is valued at up to $160 a piece. As for community donations, well, organiser Susan Davies says you're bound to find a unique item at a rock-bottom price. There are thousands upon thousands of pieces of jewellery. We have everything from $3 plastic earrings to $75 pieces that are silver, um, nine-carat gold, semi-precious stones, um, and anything you can imagine in between. And there's a lot of good bargains. But attending the Karuna Markets is about more than finding a bargain. It's about supporting a service that, quite simply, can change people's lives. Just take Susan's story for example. Unfortunately a friend of mine lost her husband and um, Karuna was able to come in to her home um, toward his final weeks and the help that they gave her and her family was immeasurable. So head to the Karuna Markets this Saturday and by doing so not only will you purchase art or jewellery at a fraction of the cost, you'll be supporting a wonderful cause. And I hope that they really do very well this year. And the Karuna Markets are on tomorrow in Cartwright Street, Windsor from 8am. Now for a quick look at Weekend Extra with Rupert tomorrow. New paint trends from colours to...